Hello there! In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the main results in risk theory. Let's go to it. Okay, in here I am quoting Proposition 3.1 from Sheldon Ross's book, Introduction to Probability Models, in its 8th edition. Now, the key to prove this result is rather than going from la left to right, to go from right to left. That is, let us just write the expectation of the variance of x given y like this. And then we're just gonna copy and paste this expectation right here, and we're gonna write the variance in the following fashion. We're gonna write the expectation of x squared given y, minus the expectation of x given y square like this and then we just need to unravel this thing here by writing just the expectation of the expectation of x square given y like this minus the expectation of the expectation of x given y square like this right and then we just have to write to, to recall that uh, in here we have the expectation of the expectation of a random variable given another one so this is just the expectation of x square minus the expectation of the square of this expectation here now Recall that this expectation here can be thought of as a random variable. So this thing here uh, makes absolutely good sense. Now, we're going to take this part here and uh, write it in here, like the variance of the expectation of x given y. And we're going to just uh, write this as the expectation of this random variable, the expectation of x given y square like this, minus the expectation of this conditional expectation like this, square like this. Then we just have to write the expectation. Now notice that this part here is just uh, copied version of this thing here, right? Okay, like this, okay? And then this is just the expectation of x squared, right? Now we just have to add them up, this part here and this part here, which means that we're going to end up having this thing here, plus this other thing here. Now, observe that this expectation here can be cancelled with this one here, and we will just end up writing that we have the expectation of x squared minus the expectation of x squared. And this is just what the variance of x, thus proving our result. Thank you for watching.